In today's lesson, I'm going to give you a list of formulas that you could use when you're factoring binomials, trinomials, and even other polynomial expressions. So let's begin. The first one that you want to be familiar with is when you have a difference of two squares, a squared minus b squared. To factor it, it's going to be a plus b times a minus b. Next, if you have the sum of two cubes or sum of perfect cubes, a cube minus b cube. To factor it, it's going to be a plus b. a is just the cube root of a to the third. So it's a plus b and then a squared minus ab plus b squared. Now there's also the difference of two cubes. If you have the difference of perfect cubes, a cube minus b cube, it's going to be a plus b and then a squared plus ab plus b squared. By the way, for those of you who want a printout of these formulas, feel free to check the links in the description section below. I'm going to post the formula sheet that corresponds to this video. Now, these are not the only formulas associated with factoring. There are other ones. Have you seen one that looked like this? a to the fifth minus b to the fifth. To factor it, it's going to be a minus b times a to the fourth plus a cubed b plus a squared b squared plus a b third or a times b to the third plus b to the fourth. Another one that's similar to this one is a to the five plus b to the five. It's similar to the previous one, but the signs are going to be different. So instead of a minus b, it's going to be a plus b. The next term will be the same, a to the fourth. And instead of plus a to the third b, it's going to be minus a cubed b. The next term is the same, plus a squared b squared. And then minus, instead of plus, a b to the third. And the last one is the same, plus b to the fourth. So notice, uh, for the first equation, every term here is positive. But for the second equation, notice that the signs alternate between plus and minus. So that will help you to distinguish the two formulas. Now, let's say if you have a trinomial, a perfect square trinomial, in this form, a squared plus 2ab plus b squared. To factor it, you can use this formula. It's simply a plus b squared. And if you have minus 2ab instead of plus 2ab, it's just going to be a minus b to the second power. So those are the formulas that you could use if you have perfect square trinomials. Another formula, let's say if you have a polynomial in this format, a cubed plus 3a squared b plus 3ab squared plus b to the third. This is simply equal to a plus b to the third power. If you've worked on the binomial theorem, you've probably seen this expression before. Now, there's another variant where the signs are alternating. It's positive a cubed minus 3a squared b, and then plus 3ab squared, and then minus b to the third. So this is going to be a minus b to the third power. Now, there are some other factoring formulas that are out there. They're less common, but they're there. Uh, for those of you who want that, I'm going to post it in my formula sheet, which you could find in the links shown below. So it's going to have formulas that I didn't cover in this video. 
I'm going to stop it here. Thanks for watching.